Damien Anton is one of the world's leading mountain bikers. He competes in the Enduro World Series, where riders race against the clock over highly varied terrain. Damien only started racing five years ago, but over the past three seasons, he's twice finished runner-up in the EWS standings. Anton hails from Ile sur tete in the south of France. Situated 30 kilometers west of Perpignan, this small traditional town retains a strong Catalan identity and is best known for the Orgue, organ pipe-shaped rock formations that stand up to 12 meters high. I've lived here all my life, 28 years now, and I'm not planning on leaving. It's a great place if you're into an active outdoor lifestyle. The mountains are nearby, it's just 30 minutes to a surfing beach, and there are beautiful mountains to go out and train on. Also, the winters are quite mild here, 10 to 15 degrees. So overall, it's great. Damien's first love was racing in motorcycle enduros, which he started aged 16. He won a regional championship, but was unable to keep competing as he found it too expensive. These days, Autant incorporates motorcycling into his training regime, heading out on his dirt bike once or twice a week. It's his favorite way of keeping in shape and is particularly good for building upper body strength. Damien's path to the professional ranks has been far from conventional. He's originally a plumber by trade and had to juggle the demands of his day job with training and racing during the early years. It wasn't until 2014 that he signed for a major team and became a full-time pro racer. These days, his plumbing skills are strictly reserved for friends and relatives. When I was a plumber, it wasn't at all easy to fit in training. The most frustrating thing was being at a race and knowing I could go faster, but not being able to after being at work all week. I enjoyed the plumbing work, but it made training really difficult. I went running a lot, but I would never have enough time to go out on the bike after work. So I'd go running twice a week, but could only train on the bike at weekends. It was all that I could manage. Anton's first professional ride was with Caminade, a small bike building company based in his hometown. They're committed to building steel frame bikes as opposed to the carbon fiber ones used by all other race teams. In 2013, they asked Damien to work with them to race in a full season of the Enduro World Series and help them develop the bike. Damien is a great rider. He's very fast, which means we could really test the equipment because he pushed it to its absolute limits. Damien was also able to interpret what he was feeling on the bike and give us some great technical feedback so we in turn could develop and improve it. Caminade's limited budget meant that Damien had to continue working part-time as a plumber to make ends meet, but he still achieved some good results with the bike, finishing seventh at the last race of the season in Finale Ligure, Italy. Not surprisingly, his performances attracted the attention of bigger teams, and he was offered a ride with Da Vinci for 2014. We told him to go ahead. Go with Da Vinci because it's a fantastic opportunity for you. You'll be able to make a good living from riding and have the chance to become world champion. So it was a great thing for him, and we were absolutely okay with it. And these days, we still meet up regularly, as Damien only lives a couple of streets away. So he usually comes over for a chat and a catch-up after every championship round. 
In racing, everybody's looking for the ultimate combination of strong, light machinery. But it doesn't come cheap. Damien's 2016 bike cost upwards of 8,000 euros. C'est un vélo full carbon. So this is a full carbon frame bike. Up at the front, the forks have 160 millimeters of travel. And I've adopted some useful features from my background in dirt biking. For example, the handlebars have quite a high lift and are pretty wide. The wheels are quite big for better feel and balance. And I have a top of the range transmission setup. It's a wide ratio 12 speed system. The best there is for enduro. It makes the climbs a lot easier, which is always a good thing. Damien's strong work ethic and determination to succeed are reflected in his training regime. Every week he puts in between 15 and 25 hours. Some is technical work on the enduro bike, but there's also a lot of power and cardio training on the roads. For the last four years, he's worked with Marc Collant from the French Cycling Federation. My role is to analyze and maximize his performance throughout the year. In the off-season, we assess things to see what we can improve on and then set new objectives for the next season. With Damien this last year, we saw that to be the best and win the World Cup, we had to put in place specific goals. We had to aim for greater consistency throughout the season and not just a few great results. His road training route takes Damien through the idyllic foothills of the Eastern Pyrenees and often includes a strategically placed pit stop for some light refreshment and a debrief at his aunt's fruit farm. Damien possesses all the right qualities to be a champion. He's very down to earth and has a great personality. He's determined and knows exactly what he wants. He pushes himself extremely hard, is a fine all-round sportsman, and he's very easy to work with. The Enduro World Series takes place over a six-month period in venues around Europe, North and South America. When he's not traveling the competition circuit or out training, Damien spends time with his partner, Laurie, at the house in Ile-sur-Tête that he renovated himself. In addition to his practical and sporting skills, Autant also showed us his artistic side. I play a little bit of guitar. I'm the type of person who always needs to be doing something. And it's a nice way to pass the time. I love rock music, and especially old bands like Dire Straits and The Police. My dad listened to those bands when I was a kid, so I've grown up with their music. I really enjoy it, and I hope I can go on to make music myself one day. Before that day comes, Damien has some unfinished business to take care of. Having risen up mountain biking's ranks in a relatively short period and twice been Enduro World Series runner-up, Anton is preparing to tackle that toughest of challenges, the climb to number one. Having worked so hard, my ambition is definitely to become world champion. Enduro is really difficult because events are usually spread over two days. So you have to be consistent and make sure your equipment lasts the course. I have a good chance, but I'll need to do it in the next two or three years, as I'm starting to get a bit old now.